You hear that? They're waiting. They're gonna come in when we least expect it and start jackhammering in front of my house. Hasn't happened yet. Hey, look, that DEF tank's excited. It's really excited for today's video. It's like, yay, budget. So I'm kicking off officially today. I think I'm dying. Uh, the 2022 Sturgis series. So you might know this channel started, I guess it was late. Was it, tw when the hell was this? Yeah, like late 20, that I did a series on Sturgis and it was moderately popular. So uh, I guess I'm gonna start 22 with something I didn't even do last year and that was a whole video dedicated to budgeting. Why? Because I'm in the throes of that crap right now, I actually have been for a while. So I thought we'd start by talking about what shit costs when do I start saving for it? When do I pay for it? How much is it? I already said what shit costs. And I'm gonna go through the whole list of my costs and how I figure that up, and then how I kind of stack that out for the year. So this should be a fun financial discussion, but it involves drinking, writing, and nudity at the end. So, you know. Um, disclaimer, not my nudity, like I'm not, I'm not gonna pull the moves out for all of you or anything. I mean, some of you might be into that. I should start on OnlyFans, I've been told that before. But anyway, so I have a document because shit's complicated. And over the years, my um, slavery slash job has actually taught me some decent skills and one of them being Excel. And stuff's useful for certain stuff when you're trying to figure out what stuff's gonna cost you. And I'm trying to figure out this this file for those of you who are kind of Excel-ish or not, or have a friend who is, or just wanna get in there and play around. I might put this on like a, maybe a Google Drive doc thing. And those of you who can do that sort of wizardry, wanna pull it down and, and use it as your own or whatever, then, you know, I'm happy to share this, you know. Uh, if I can't figure that out, just email me at demunk, which I'll put that at the bottom. Email me at demunk at professional-monkey.com. I'll email you my Excel budget file. I don't care. But I want to start, start talking about this. And this video is going to trigger lots of people because it, the comment section is a bloodbath when you talk about Sturgis for anything. Because it's just everyone's opinion is dogma to them, if you know what I mean. Like, they, they know everything, you know. I don't claim to know everything. I just know what I've experienced. That's all I'm sharing here. So what this costs to go to Sturgis. Sturgis can be done on the cheap. Uh, I have been going, quick background I guess, I've been going since I was 13 years old. I used to go with my dad when I was a kid on the back of his bike and we stayed at Glencoe, the Chip, hotels. We stayed all over the place and that was of course when I was a kid I wasn't paying the bill. But I, I experienced a bit then like what was the fun thing I wanted to do. And then that, as an adult, I've done most of that. Uh, and and I've done it all these different ways and seen the different cost differences. And I know how I like to go to Sturgis. And another disclaimer, I work like a damn animal. Uh, and I, I've had some success in my life. Not a lot. Far from a rich man. I am middle class AF, as the kids say. But Sturgis is my thing. It's my one week a year where it's about me. It's not about... The organization or you know family wife children that's this that and the other child so um this is my week so yeah i spend but after i go through my budget i'm gonna go through way you could do it kind of normal average if you went on your bike and then we'll talk about one way i came up with where i think you could go on the cheap and what i think that would look like uh there's some dudes who watch the channel who are solid dudes who do this on the cheap and they're really good at it uh, I think Neil from up in Alaska is really good at doing this. And I'm, I'm, he knows all the places where there's a good breakfast that's really inexpensive and stuff. And, and Neil, I invite you to you know jump in and comment because this is a community. It's a family. Anyway, so starting off, one of your big expenses for me is fuel. Uh, I go in my RV. There's the first bath, of, you know, you know, blood bath of stupid comments right there. Uh, I have a 36 foot toy hauler that I bought for two reasons. One, because it's a family camp. I have a nine-year-old little girl, man. Uh, and, and I have a 12-year-old a niece and we like to go camping and do family stuff, just regular camper stuff. We go to Disney, we do all this other stuff. And then also I use my, my toy hauler to go to rallies. I use it because campgrounds are better than hotels. 
And if you can afford an RV, it's better than a tent. There's just, that's just all there is to it. And I have been fortunate to have the success in life to buy an RV. So for those of you saying, you ain't a real biker, number one. Number two, I got news for you. Real bikers don't use the phrase real bikers. They don't ever say that. So anyway, um, fuel. So the national average for gasoline right now, now this could change, right? No political comments, but it could be $35 by the time we go, who knows? Right now, the national average is $3.30 a gallon and diesel's $3.58. That's about right for Florida. It really is about your common fuel costs here, but I know that our friends, brothers and sisters in California are paying five, six bucks a gallon right now, but the national average is, is just under 360 for diesel. When I did my calculations for what I think the damage is gonna be for all my fuel to pull up there and back, I said 375. Why? Because why not pad a little bit? You know what I mean? But I use this calculation, $3.75 a gallon. Uh, it is in fact, on the conservative side, 4,700 miles, close to 5,000 miles for my trip. And I know from two different times pulling my exact rig with this exact cargo, you know, that I get nine miles to the gallon, like clockwork. Big Karen, my white diesel F-250, that's her name's Big Karen, because she's big and white and entitled. Um, if I pull my rig with 4,000 pounds of, of motorcycles, water, gasoline, and clothes, I get nine miles a gallon. If I pull my rig bone ass dry, my rig's about 10,000 pounds empty. If I pull my rig bone ass dry with nothing in it, I get nine miles a gallon. A truck does not care. I get nine miles a gallon if that camper's hooked on. So 4,700 miles divided by nine miles per gallon, welcome to math class, is 523-ish gallons of fuel round trip. So yeah, I burned 523 gallons of diesel going to Sturgis and back. The environmentalists would lose their shit, right? Um, so the total fuel cost rounding up is about 30 bucks shy of two grand. So I spent about $2,000 and that's assuming it's 375 and that's assuming that nothing goes wrong and I have to take a detour and add miles on. But at 4,700 miles and nine miles a gallon at 375 a gallon, I'm gonna spend right at 2,000 bucks on fuel. We'll go into other options in a minute. Um, campgrounds. I do buy campground passes for Glencoe and the Buffalo Chip regardless of which one I'm staying and I've stayed at both. Uh, the Glencoe Pass for 2022 is $279. Right now, the Buffalo Chip Pass is $295. It will go up. Glencoe stays the same, I think, but Buffalo Chip goes up as time goes on, the closer you get to the rally. So if you're going, buy that now. Buy your wristband for whatever camper I'm going to right now. Uh, my RV site, I am probably staying at the Buffalo Chip this year. I'm 99.9% .9 sure. Uh, not that it's the absolute perfect place to stay, but it is for me because of concerts and stuff. Uh, and I also like that they have a massive site available. So they have a 20 foot wide by 80 foot long RV site. And that is big enough for my truck, my RV, my golf cart, my bike, my wife's bike, and the inevitable friends that are, are close to us and, and hang out. So we have plenty of room to barbecue. I like, to me, it's worth it to spend money on the space. And that RV site is $985. Now, it's good for the entire length of the rally, so it's it's not like, you know, for a week. It's it, as early as I want to show up that they're open and stay to the last day, 985 for the whole time. Um, groceries. I stock my rig with like frozen breakfast sandwiches and frozen pizzas and crap because remember, I'm living on my rig three days up and three days back just to get there. Uh, so that's about 300 bucks. Liquor to stock my RV. The Buffalo Chip does not allow you to bring liquor into the campground. So don't do it. In another video, I'll show you all the nooks and crannies in RV that you can hide bottles of liquor. Anyway, that's about 250, you know, for the liquor that I will put in there. Uh, that's not counting, that's not all I'm gonna drink all week, but that's what I'm gonna have in my rig. You know, a couple of bottles of good bourbon, et cetera, et cetera, about 250. Uh, blow money, not for blow, like drugs, but money you're gonna blow on various bullshit. Now, this is not a science, but it's almost been exactly the same every freaking year. I'm there the whole time. My wife's there about half the time and without fail on drinks, t-shirts, and just kicking around for the full nine days of the rally, we spend $2,500. 
We just we just do. Chicken sandwich, wherever the hell you are, and a beer and whatnot, it's, it, things are expensive. And we end up spending 2,500, maybe even close to 3,000 bucks. But that's what we spend just knocking around, having a good time. That I like to buy drinks for friends every once in a while. Um, vendor spending. I always throw another 500 in there because you never know when something new and cool is out. You're at, you're at the, the rally at exit 55. You're walking around, you see a new vendor. They got a cool thing and it's 500 bucks. That's so I just put a five, an extra 500 over in there. Uh, tolls. The journey up, it's it's $100 uh, in tolls that I pay to go all the way up and back in the state of Florida. Uh, the KOA is up there and back. So my philosophy pulling my RV uh, 5,000 miles round trip is I, I, rest stops and things aren't reliable because you, you can be in Georgia in the middle of the night, pull in, frickin' tuckered out, done, pull into a, a, a rest area spot, get in your rig and fall asleep and a state trooper can bang on the door and say, this is not for overnighting, roll on. Might happen, might not happen, you don't know, but I don't want to freaking do that. I don't want to be exhausted and be forced to drive. And I found KOA campgrounds are fine. They've got full hookups, so by some amazing chance, something's not going wrong with my tanks. I need to flush tanks, I need to dump, I need to do this, that, and the other. Dump the tanks. Uh, it's 30 bucks a night to have a dedicated spot that I know is big enough, that has electricity, that has water, that in, you know, and even though, yes, a lot of times I'm pulling in, sleeping for six hours and rolling on, I just love that security of knowing that I have a spot waiting. Those are 30 bucks a night. So uh, I've lost my spot. KOA to the, so I average that about $200 round trip, about a hundred up, hundred back, you know, three nights. Uh, so KOA is up there and back, $200. Uh, the 1880s train is the only thing that we buy tickets for that I know of that's going to be a hard like ticket expense and that's 60 bucks for me and the wife. The 1880s train runs from Keystone to Hill City. If you haven't done it, you should do it. It's a lot of fun. Um, the train's been there since the 1880s, thus the name. And uh, it's just, it's cool. I mean, you go past the Sears and Roebuck house, kit house that, you know, you can't see those very often anymore. You're going through little areas that are not, there are no roads there, just the train went back and forth for miners. Recommend it. Bike gas during the rally. Gas is expensive and you're gonna burn a tank a day. If you're like us, we, we it, I'm averaging that to about a tank a day. There might be a two tank day, tank and a half day, whatever. You don't judge me, it's just iced tea. Um, or do judge me, I don't give a shit. So bike gas during the rally, about 300 bucks. That's, that's just what I threw out there. Could be more, could be less. You never know, cost of fuel could go up. Uh, I think the pump at the chips like four bucks a gallon for premium or something like that. Uh, you know, uh, somebody correct me down below. But I'm just I just threw a number in there, three hundred dollars for bike gas during the rally. Um, Mrs. Monkey's airline tickets. So Mrs. Monkey, because we have a nine year old little girl, she can't be on the road for two weeks. Uh, again, this is my this is my time to shed my daddy duties. You know, once a year uh, for for about two weeks, and so she. She flies in and then flies out. So this year she'll probably fly into St. Louis and meet me and make the drive up for fun. Uh, and then hang out, you know, Sturgis for a few days and then fly home. So about 700 bucks for her plane ticket. I know a lot of you have wives that fly in and out. So I threw in $700. Seems like tickets are kind of high. The airport you're going into, by the way, is RAP. That's Rapid City Regional Airport. RAP is your destination, you know, there in Sturgis. Um, and that brings us to a total. Now don't, don't. Get ready, have some pillows around for when you fall down. But this totals to just a hair under $8,500. $8,427. That's, that's my Sturgis 22 budget. Can it be done for cheaper? Of course. Does it make you right? No, this is how I want to do it. But this is the way I like to do it. It's what we enjoy, and it's my one thing a year. So about $8,500. So next, I did a budget for... Uh, uh, Probably the, the normal person, this is fine. This is how a lot of people are probably gonna do it if it's your first time. And so I'm just kind of throwing it out there. If you go on your bike and it's about a thousand miles, uh, fuel is just a hair under $4 for premium. Hopefully you're running premium in your Harley. That's what they like. Somebody right now is like, I don't run premium. Fine, but you're supposed to run premium in a Harley. So premium is $3.93 a gallon right now on average. Uh, assuming you get about 30 miles a gallon, I don't mean to start a whole freaking conversation on, on your fuel mileage on your bike, but the reality is a full dresser with a passenger loaded down somewhere around 30 miles a gallon. If yours is older or, or you got a 
500 cubic inch Chevy in there, then you can do less than that. But I just put 30 miles a gallon in there. So 30 miles a gallon at about $4 a gallon for 2,000 miles is, is, I got 262. So that's actually $3.93 a gallon. So 2,000 miles, I just pulled that out 1,000 miles each way. That seems to be a kind of average circle. So 1,000 miles each way at 3.93 a gallon, 30 miles a gallon is 262 bucks in fuel. Um, hotel. Now this gets, this is painful. This is where an RV saves you money. Yes, I'm buying the mother of RV sites and it's about a thousand bucks for my site, but get this shit. I went online looking at, at hotels. I haven't done this in a while. And I thought I'd be looking at about $300 a night. And yes, you can find something better. Somebody right now says, I know a place is $24. Fine. But it seems like a hotel room in the Sturgis area, as far as Spearfish, Spearfish is sold out actually, Spearfish Amsterdam, which I hear is good. Um, Spearfish, the area around Deadwood's expensive. Deadwood was five, 600 bucks, but is about $300 a night. And you're looking at nine nights. Now this isn't even all full boat taxes and whatever they might get you at, but that's about $2,700. So I pay 985, you gotta pay 2,700 for a hotel room. That's if you're a hotel room person. Of course, you can. there's other ways to do it. I'm just, this is an example, calm down. You don't need a safe space yet. Um, and then I figured you'd go to like two concerts. The Buffalo Chip is the center of the concert universe at Sturgis. Uh, this year, I mean, they always have acts like Skid Row, et cetera. I know we'll probably do a whole other video on concerts that we're excited about, but Aaron Lewis is going, who was the lead singer of Stain. So the dude has had a whole huge successful rock career and then now has a really good country career. I like them both. I like Stained and I like Aaron Lewis's, Lewis's country music. So Aaron Lewis is there. Travis Tritt's there. Good classic country from the 90s. Um, you know, you see a lot of classic rock acts. So you see things like, again, Leonard Skinner's played there a bunch over the years. Uh, uh, you know, Foreigner. You know, Night Ranger, 38 Special, those kinds of bands. None of those are confirmed, but I'm just saying. And Snoop Dogg's back this year, and I saw him in 19. He was freaking badass. <laughs> he was really good in 2019. I'm looking forward to seeing Snoop Dogg this year. So if you're going to go to a concert at the Buffalo Chip, it's about 100 bucks a night. So what you got to do, let me back up here. If you decide you're staying at a hotel in Spearfish Canyon, you decide you want to go to Buffalo Chip see a concert, what you do is you don't buy a concert ticket, you buy a camping pass for that day. That's the only option. You either have a ticket to get into the Buffalo Chip, all of it, or you don't. It's not like I bought a concert ticket. I've heard of people saying they sell selling concert tickets to Buffalo Chip, that's bullshit. You have to buy a camping pass. And, and the pass for a 24 hour pass to Buffalo Chip's about a hundred bucks a night if you wait until the week of. So you decide you wanna see Travis Tritt and Snoop Dogg. You know, those two concerts are going to be 100 bucks person. I'm assuming a couple, $400, all right? So $400 you're going to spend in camping wristbands, whether you camp or not, probably to see concerts. Blow money, I still put $2,500. I still, it's not like we're crazy. We're not there making it rain on strippers. I'm just saying like, that's kind of a good number. And if you come home with extra, good. And if that's, if that's a stretch, it's too hard to get $2,500. So save less and just be a little more miserly while you're there. Don't worry about it. I'm just putting this in for calculation. Um, rally gas still three hundred dollars, which is a total of just over six grand. I feel like that's a, a realistic twenty twenty two number for the average couple going to Sturgis and staying in a hotel is about six grand. That's that's probably what you're going to be at. Uh, and then to round this out, those of you who are saying I freaking hate Sturgis, I've had people who are real honest about this and say I want to go to Sturgis, but I hate Sturgis because it's too expensive. I can't afford it, and that's that sucks. I agree. Um, and I want all of us to go to Sturgis. I want us to all go have a good time. It can be done for a lot cheaper. So I went through a rally on a budget sort of situation here. Okay. So again, assuming a thousand miles, you know, distance, still assuming 30 miles a gallon, you're looking at a uh, fuel of 393 a gallon again for premium fuel. That's $262 in fuel. So look at that, man. I'm spending two grand in diesel. Uh, but $262 for fuel, either way, if you're riding, that's that's a huge saving, right? Um, and then you've got um, campground passes. So, oh, I fucked up. There's only one person. I'll have to fix that in my head. So, campground pass, if you stay at like the Buffalo Chip, that 295 that I described earlier, if you have an RV space, the RV space is in addition to every a campground pass that every individual has to have. 
So if you're tenting or RVing, you still have to have a full week's campground pass, which is like 295 right now. All right, does that make sense? If you got if you have an RV, you spend a thousand bucks for RV spot. If you get the big one like I do, you have three people stay in it. You got another nine hundred dollars in three hundred dollar camp passes times three. Makes sense. So your campground pass is two ninety five. This is still on the cheap, but two ninety five you can tent. There's no tent fee. Two ninety five is what you need to have access for the week. It's dark in here. I got to turn lights on. What the hell? Oh, the apocalypse is moving in. Hmm. Got some storms moving in. All right. So your campground pass two ninety five. What I forgot is this is one person. I'm assuming two. So that's 600 bucks in campground passes. Uh, and then you got food and drink. It could be done on a grand, I bet. There are uh, pancake breakfasts every morning. You can uh, uh, buy some groceries on the cheap at Walmart once you get there. Buy your, you know, some bread, milk, and, 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 and some, some, some cold meats, you know, or something like that. Make sandwiches and eat those during the day. I, I, I pulled this number from my ass, but I am confident that I could get it done for a thousand bucks, you know, food and drink. And then hide liquor <laughs> or don't drink. I mean, that's an option too, right? You got people say, well, I don't drink. Drinking's a big expense during Sturgis, so. So about a thousand bucks for your food and drink. Rally gas is the same, ain't no way around that, about 300 bucks. So this says 1857 total, so 1900 bucks, but I'm three, 300 short because of a second person. So 19, $2,200. Um, and then let's think your, your, your food and drink money probably needs to go up if you're two people. So 22, probably 25 ish. You know what I mean? So I feel confidently that if you're okay tenting and you already own all the gear, that's not in here. If you don't own a tent and sleeping bags and a cooler and all that crap, and you don't have all the stuff you need for your bike to strap it on, strap ons, um, like a luggage rack, what the hell's happening to me? Luggage rack, or tour pack and all that crap. You got to have the gear already in this number. But if you already have all that gear and you're okay tenting, you don't mind it, all that sort of stuff, I'm confident a couple can go to Sturgis within a thousand mile range for $2,500. Um, that's the end of the, the concepts, how I go, how I think the average person probably goes, and then how it can be done on the cheap. Now I'll go into a little bit of like, how the hell do you swallow a $9,000 nugget? Like that's, that's a pain in the ass. So, uh, let me kick off here and get a little sip and then we'll be back to talk about that because there's a strategy. I can't believe a bulldozer hasn't rolled down my street yet. Unbelievable. So a lot of you out there got been out of shape at my $8,500 number. I'm sure of it. And I'm sure that, that there's a lot of like, you know, how the hell do you swallow that pill? Um, that's, that's crazy. You know, that kind of crap. Well, I don't, write an $8,500 check. I deal with this all year. Sturgis is a 12 month affair for me. Second I leave Sturgis, I'm already planning the next year. I was actually talking about skipping 22 and then <laughs> this voice is like, yeah, right. So I already started planning for 22. So how I sort of break this stuff up and swallow this pill in chunks is right now, uh, I've got $1,300 into my Sturgis trip. What I mean by that is I've got Buffalo chip passes bought. Uh, I think and, I've, and I've Glencoe's, all that stuff. My passes are bought and my uh, uh, my RV spot is bought. So I've got my pass and the RV spot bought. Still gonna buy my Glencoe pass. The reason why I haven't done that yet is the Glencoe pass stays the same price. Sorry, I'm confusing myself here. So I've got the RV spot bought and my Buffalo chip spot bought because RV spots sell out at the Buffalo Chip, like there will be zero available. So if you're an RVer and you're going, that needs to be done quick. You have to buy your campground pass at the same time. Let you do that. Oh, look, hot Latin girl in a German car pulling in. It's a disruption, but it's a good one. She does this thing that I love. She sits in the driveway on her phone. She's gonna sit there. I, I bet it'll be 30 minutes. She's gonna sit in that driveway with the car running, burning gas on a phone call for work. We'll be back. Okay, so the Tsarina has cleared the area, walked through here on her cell phone for a work call, like like I'm just not here. Anyway, <laughs> she probably wishes I wasn't here half the time. Anyway, um, so yeah, so book your RV spots now and buy your, if, if you're going to the Buffalo Chip, buy your Buffalo Chip band right now because it's gonna go up in price. Um, 1880s train, 
uh, I will buy in probably May. I'm just thinking of all little details because it's not available yet and those will sell out too. Uh, March, I'll make my KOA bookings. Um, why? Because I'm lazy and it's, you know, $200. So in that month, I'll make that expense. Uh, in April, I'll buy the plane ticket. Um, can't even buy it right now. I can't even go that far out. Uh, ongoing. So this is our strategy for saving our $2,500 in, in blow money. You guys who have dabbled in chemicals in the past are just cracking up every time I say that. Um, we have a setup that's automated that 100 bucks per paycheck from mine goes into a Sturgis savings account. We have a savings account that is just Sturgis. That's actually called Sturgis on a ledger. 100 bucks per paycheck goes in there from me. 50 bucks per paycheck goes in from the missus. And if you do the math, there are 26 pay periods a year. So that's $2,600 for me and 13. So that's $3,900 per year that goes into that account. Why is it more than 2,500? Because 150, $150 is a round number. Number one, number two, uh, it gives you that chance to go, ah, oh, something came up, I need to pull 500 out. So we budget for about four grand and going in there knowing we need 2,500. So that's how we do that throughout the year. So it's an ongoing, never ending expense, the, the Sturgis deposit. Um, stock the rig with liquor. That will probably do in June. Again, that's about 250. And then groceries will buy late July, like the, the very end because it's frozen stuff and you don't want it to go funky. So, and then now here's the last thing I, I always say that, that don't let this stuff carry over. Don't go into debt. But I have a credit card that I use for bike fuel and uh, the fuel getting there and back during the rig. And I pay for that when I get home. So that's sort of makes that pill easier to swallow. And again, that's $2,600 of this total budget, right? 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 No. $223? Yeah, $2,300 of this budget is just gasoline during the rally and diesel for the truck getting up there and back. So $2,300 of that eight grand, I don't need to have in hand by August. I need to have that in hand by September because I use a credit card to hold it up there and back and then I pay it off before any interest accrues in September. So that's how I actually do it. Again, I'm not writing an $8,600 check. You got to break this stuff up. Otherwise, yeah, man, no one could do that. That's that's nuts. Not wealthy. Someone out there is already writing a mean ass comment. Urba -derba -derba. Sorry. <laughs> but there, that's my Sturgis 22 budgeting video. I'm going to do a whole series of stuff. We'll probably revisit the topics from last year we did uh, where to stay, which that's a whole topic and we'll do that, like campgrounds versus hotels versus all that stuff. So where to stay, uh, where to eat, fat guy knows where to eat, good places to grab a drink, tons of opinions on that and I'll miss stuff. So these videos are meant, this is a community, man. These videos are meant for my experiences. Comment down below places you like. If you disagree with me, put that down. Um, I read every comment and reply to almost every single one. Uh, and then we'll do stuff like the vendors, like what you're gonna find at Black Hills Harley. Uh, and we'll do ride videos. I actually have routes that I put on the Harley Davidson app that are links that anyone can use if you use the Harley Davidson app. If you like blue painter's tape on your tank, you can do that too still. That's, I, don't, I know about that. <laughs> but that's all. So let me know what you think. Comment down below. If you're not a subscriber, I'd really appreciate it. You know, I know we're all beat up to hear that stuff every time you watch a video, but this channel is ad revenue only. I do not have a Patreon. I do not have a members only. I do not have a, you know, da, 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 da. I'm never gonna ask you for money. So please just make sure you're subscribed. Hit the thumbs up button if you don't mind. Uh, comment down below any feedback you have, questions, concerns, fat jokes, insults. You know, I read them all. So take care of each other out there. We'll talk real soon. Bye.